Hello everyone, today I'm going to explain to you how we use column method addition in primary using the Abacus Maths Scheme. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is write out a question and then I'll show you how to set the question up and how we complete the answer. Okay, here we go. We have 25 add 14. Okay, so we know that we have to pop an answer in the box here. But the method that I'm going to show you today is this one. We place 25 here in squares, numbers in squares. Now this is the tens column and this is the ones column, okay? So then we place the number 14 underneath. One here and four here. This being one ten and four ones. We then recommend that the children use a ruler to underline the two sets of numbers. We have two columns, the tens column and the ones column. They use a ruler to underline and pop the addition sign on the left of the question. Okay, now, where do we start? We start always in the ones column, okay? So we take the ones column, we look at the five, and we look at the four, and then we add them together, okay? So five add four is nine. And then we have the tens column. Two add one is 39. So our final answer for 25 add 14 is 39. Okay, now, if we wanted to do a question where the numbers cross over into the next 10, let me show you, which would then obviously help your child to progress into the next tens of numbers. So we're adding over 10. Let's have a look. So if we took, for example, 27 add 14, Okay, let's have a look at that one. We set it out exactly the same. We have our tens column and our ones column. Okay, and we place the numbers. 27, add, don't forget your add sign, on the left of the numbers, 14. Okay, we use a ruler, again, to underline the numbers. We start always in the ones column. So now this is what we do. We do seven add four. Now we know we are crossing over, we're bridging, we're crossing over the 10. We have 11 now. So what do we do? We put the one from the 11, the one one that we have, we pop it here. And the 10 that makes the 11, we pop it over here, okay? So we now have an extra 10 there. So we look at the tens column, one, Add two is three, add your extra 10, making the four to make 41. Final answer. Okay, so let's just recap. Column method addition. We have numbers which do not cross over the 10. So we have five add four, which is nine, two add one is three, making a calculation in column method. Numbers in columns. This one I've shown you crosses over the tens, okay? So we have the seven add four, which made 11. So I've shown you how to place the one in the ones column and the 10 in the tens column to then add up to make the 41 as your final answer, okay? Thank you.